Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on introduction on concept of mental ray lights. That's your photometric lights. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's just open up a scene over here. Open up a file. So now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll just remove this all lights over here. So let's go into this, go into rendering, render setup and I'll activate this NVIDIA mental ray. So activate this mental ray over here. After that, we'll assign some other materials over here. So let's go into material editor. So press M, go into material editor. So let's go down. So you have all this mental ray shaders over here. You can go in any of it. Let's take one arcane design. And let's just give a ceramic tiles over here. So you can easily assign the ceramic tiles over here and let's just assign that over here. Alright. After that, I'll just give one more arcane design on this teapot. I'll just give a matte finish or if you want to give any kind of a glass, you can just give a glass solid over here. You can assign that. Now, for this also, again give arc and design, give matte finish, and let's just slightly give any color to it. Assign that over here. So, rendering, render setup. So let's check again its mental ray. Yeah, okay, perfect. So go into this light, go into photometric light and let's take a target light over here. So it is recommended that you use mental ray photographic exposure control. So let's click yes over here. So we have activated that. So just drag one light over here, right from the top to the ground. So you get one light over here. After that, what I'll be doing over here is like, let's go into the parameters of this light over here. I'll just go into this and I'll just set it as light only. So select this light, go into this. And you have some templates. Let's example, let's take any kind of a template of a 100 watt bulb over here. Activate this target. Light on. Activate the shadow. Give a mental ray shadow map over here. So light distribution, how you want a light distribution. You want in a photometric web, you want in a spotlight. So I'll just make it as a diffuse over here. And after that, you can use Kelvin also. If you change the Kelvin, you see that it's working like a temperature over here. You can work with the temperature of the lights. If you just go on changing it, you can see the light color getting changed over here. So click on this color and again you get some kind of intensity presets. So you can take any kind of presets if you need. So let's just take a warm white preset. and go down once you activate it you still have a filter color you can go with that you can add on with a filter color i'll just cancel it i don't need any kind of a filter color into it so once you activate it you see that the kelvin option gets deactivated after that you have some light intensity units over here that's your lumion and your cadian so Let's just go down over here. I can reduce the cadian over here. And simultaneously what I'll do is I'll increase this uh, percentage of light also. You can work with this 
percentage of light you can reduce the percentage of light now reduce this you see that the light will get reduced over here as you are using over here as a percentage so if you increase the percentage you can go with that after that you have the same option we have seen into your near and far attenuation you can utilize it or I'll just off this uh, near and far attenuation part again go over here now we want the light to be emitted from a point or from a line from a rectangle so if you want that my light should be emitted from a bigger area or a bigger source we can utilize this as you see over here you will see that if I push it slightly up over here you see that the top section of that particular part will get illuminated because I am emitting a light from a rectangle so you can utilize that also a disc that's a round shape so these are the parameters with it so let's just set it as a point for now I can select this I'll just slightly delete this and I'll slightly just push it up alright so let's go down again over here and you can also make it as cylinder so cylinder can also be used for example I'll show you a cylinder part how it can be utilized I'll definitely come up with that part also so this rectangle is very big let's just reduce its length and width of the rectangle that can be changed so you can utilize the use of this rectangle over here let's go down also you have some shadow samples you can increase that shadow samples your quality the shadow parameters if you want to make a shadow lighter you have a property over here that's your dense over here and your shadow map if you want to put any kind of map over here for a shadow you can put a map in this that is also possible and you can increase the shadow map size to I'll increase it to 1024 and I'll increase the samples to 6 over here and let's just render and see how it looks like so definitely uh, we are just checking it how it looks like let's go into this again I'll go over here I'll set it as a bit of a daylight I'll slightly increase slightly I'll just push it up over here and let's render and see okay so the light should be out a bit so if you go over here and set it as photometric web that also you can utilize it you can see the variation of the light so this is totally on the form of how it is going to emit over here so we'll keep it as diffuse only so if you are making it spot it is going to be a kind of a spot over here emerging from this point it's not going to spread everywhere so we'll keep it as diffuse over here which will be spreading in all directions right from a single point so let's just again make it as point over here and slightly just push this up you can increase its intensity of the light if required also we have uh, if you want to work with a Kelvin you can go with Kelvin also not a problem 
you can utilize this units also and slightly I'll reduce its percentage over here and if you want let's just try to duplicate that so let's just duplicate this slide just give you an idea how it looks like so there are other different things which we need to do in the render setup I'm not showing you right now so only difference between this target and free light is like if you off this target it would be a free light if you on it it is a target light so if you want to focus on any of the particular object you can activate this target over here you can just render it and see how it looks like all right so we are just checking the light parameters over here we are not lighting up So also we have something over here that's your atmosphere and effects. So I can go into this, you can add a volume light over here. So you can activate this volume light setup. So I'll just delete this, delete this, take a new volume light and reduce the density to 0.2 over here. You can change the fog color if required and also you have an option that's your noise link to light and I'll reduce its noise threshold over here to a bit lesser let's render and see you'll definitely see a bit of noise over here so you can work on this you can off the noise if you want you can only show a volume light that's totally okay so you can just off the noise and you can render it if you want you can reduce the density of the light Alright. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So definitely I'll be coming up with few more things into the photometric lights and we'll be going through some kind of render settings also. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.